Hi, this is Olivia from UKBeautyRoom.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the use of ammonia in hair dyes. I've got a couple of posts on UKBeautyRoom.com about dyeing your hair and I've actually had a few comments from readers asking about the difference between ammonia free hair dyes and hair dyes containing ammonia. So in this video I'm going to go through what ammonia is, how it's beneficial when you want to dye your hair and if there's any benefit to using a hair dye without ammonia. So ammonia is actually really useful in hair dye and it's been used in hair dye for a long time. It's got a bit of a bad reputation for causing hair damage, but I'll go into some more details about how it could damage your hair and whether or not alternatives are better, but it doesn't necessarily have to damage your hair if you are not using hair dye frequently and you're using other products to help to counter that potential damage. So ammonia is an alkaline chemical with a very small molecule size. Our hair is naturally mildly acidic. So when you dye your hair, you need to change the pH level, which will open up the hair cuticles and make the hair absorb the hair dye. You won't be able to find a hair dye which doesn't have an alkaline chemical in it because the hair won't be able to take the colour otherwise. So any hair dye, even without ammonia, will have some alternative in there which is an alkaline chemical. Where ammonia is good is that it contains a very small molecule size and that means that it's able to cause the hair shaft to swell up. When it swells up, it's better able to absorb the hair dye. So this means that hair dye which contains ammonia, the hair dye is absorbed better into the hair, meaning the colour is more vibrant and it's more likely to last longer on the hair. It also, because of that small molecule, it absorbs, um, it evaporates quickly, which is why you get that strong smell with ammonia. At the same time, the small molecule means that it's easier to wash off the hair. <clears throat> so when you rinse the hair dye off the hair, it will all come off. So the, the alternatives to ammonia tend to have bigger molecule sizes and they're more likely to leave residue on the hair because they don't wash off as easy as ammonia. So the benefits of ammonia are that it will create much more vibrant colour, the colour will last for much longer and it's much easier to rinse off the hair. Where um, there may be downsides to using ammonia, because it causes the hair shaft to swell and it causes the hair cuticles to open up, and because it's so good at doing that, if you are dyeing your hair frequently over time, it will make the hair more brittle, more prone to frizz, um, more prone to breakage. The alternatives to ammonia, so when you get hair dyes that say no ammonia or ammonia free, they are the same in that they will contain a chemical, which is an alkaline chemical that is designed to change the pH level of the hair. And this will cause the cuticles to open up to absorb the hair dye. You're not gonna find any hair dye that is not going to potentially cause damage to the hair. So even these ammonia free options will potentially damage the hair. They won't cause the hair to swell the same way as ammonia, and they won't cause the hair cuticles to open in the same way as an ammonia. So they're more gentle and less likely to cause damage. But at the same time, you won't get the same level of vibrancy as when you're using ammonia hair dye because it doesn't absorb the color as well. And also the colour won't last on the hair as well. <clears throat> because the molecules are bigger than ammonia, they also tend to build up on the hair and they can leave a bit of a residue coating the hair shaft. So even when you rinse your hair thoroughly after using an ammonia free hair dye, there might still be some left on the hair because it won't rinse off as cleanly as ammonia because those molecules are much bigger. So whether or not you use ammonia free hair dye or not will depend on where how often you dye your hair. Some people, ammonia can cause skin sensitivity and some people notice that their scalp is itchy after they use um, regular hair dye. So you may want to use ammonia free if you have particularly sensitive skin. If you dye your hair frequently, if you use ammonia free, it's less likely to become damaged quickly. Whereas if you're using an ammonia hair dye with ammonia regularly, it will be damaged quicker than the ones without. If you are dyeing your hair regularly, two products that I really recommend are the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil, which I've got a review of on my website, and also the Olaplex number no. 6 um, bond smoother, and this is like a cream. You can use both of these products together. They both contain, in fact all Olaplex products contain an ingredient which helps to repair any broken disulfide bonds in the hair, which can happen during the colouring process. 
I use the both of these products every time I wash my hair. They're excellent for repairing the hair, reducing any frizz, and if you are regularly colouring your hair, I really recommend that you use these as part of your regular hair care routine to prevent any damage and repair any broken hair bonds that already exist. I'm aware these products are quite expensive. I've also got a post on my website of cheaper alternatives to Olaplex, which also do a good job. I think there's one by OGX, which is much less expensive, which could be a good alternative for you if you're looking for something which is a bit more affordable, but I'll put a link to both of those posts in the description below this video. If you use products like Olaplex with the hair dye and Olaplex afterwards to repair those broken um, bonds in the hair, you can use ammonia based hair dyes regularly and still not get too much hair damage. But I've used both of them. Um, both cases I found that my hair was left drier and more frizzy and I don't think you'll get away from that. If you're going to dye your hair there will be some damage but it is possible to use hair dye with ammonia <clears throat> and use products to help to re lessen the damage. There's the Olaplex um, cream and the Olaplex oil which is really helpful. Um, I would say that using an ammonia free hair dye is only really, if you're using it, if you're using a dye as a one-off I think it doesn't really make any difference. Um, if you want to cover grey hair and you're using it over a long period of time regularly, you may want to use an ammonia free so that there's less chance of damage on your hair. But I hope this video was helpful in explaining the difference between ammonia and ammonia free hair dyes. If you do have any questions, um, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them.